Hi, this is Raheem Zulfiqar Ali from Excel Basement and uh, today in this video we will be learning that how to create a uh, dynamic ranges for Excel charts. So we will be utilizing the index and match function for creating the dynamic name ranges and to be implemented in the chart directly. And uh, you can also create dynamic name ranges for the charts or the, for the pivot tables by the offset function but particularly in this video we will be utilizing the index and match function. So let me just write a title and we will be starting from the very uh, basic and I will be creating a data from the very start so that everyone can understand who are watching this video. So we will be creating a dynamic range chart in MS Excel, right? This will be our video title. Right? creating a dynamic range chart in Excel. So we need a data to be populated on our spreadsheet. So let me just populate a data, dates, actuals, budget numbers. For the actual and budget numbers, I'm using the rand between functions, which will create a random numbers. So I'm creating a random numbers from one till 100, and I will paste this as a special value so that the number should not change when I do the other work in this spreadsheet. So these now are the values are static. And uh, for the dates, um, I will be using the format, which is the month name hyphen and the year. And I will be creating a data for Jan till, for example, June in, in our particular case. So now we have a data uh, for, for each of the month uh, in the column. Okay, remember that this is very critical when we will be using the index and match function. So the match will become up in the column argument of the index rather than the raw because we need to fetch every uh, individual figure either of actual or budget from, from the column, not from the row. So in the index, we need to skip the raw. We, we will be applying the match function in the, in the column and we will be making it dynamic. So we'll, I will give you the example. But, but before that, we need to create a, a data validation as well so that I can select the particular month from that data validation list and my chart should be updated as a dynamic name range. Okay, so for doing that, what I've been doing is I'm creating I'm from and to range and I will put the data validation technique here, which is very easy for creating a list from the data validation. You need to go to data tab and in the data tools group, you need to click to the data validation feature and this dialog window will appear. So from the validation criteria, we, we need to select a list because we need to uh, create a drop down list and um, what particular list to be shown, we need to show the name of the month and we have already uh, available in the raw number six from Jan to June. So now I have a drop down list, which is from Jan to June, right? And I will just select, let's suppose the Feb 3, 2020. Now by selecting Feb 2020, you can see that because the dates are particularly numbers on the back end. So we need to correct the formatting as well. So I just copy and paste this data validation uh, from the from and to cell. And I will go to, uh, by selecting these two cell, I will right click. And in this contextual menu, I will go to the format cells and I will correct the formatting of these particular dates. So I need a month and then hyphen sign and the year into digits. So it's like showing Fab 20, for example, from Fab 20 till May 20, my chart should be dynamic. And later on, if I change this range from and to, so my chart should be updated, right? Now for the very basic uh, users who are watching this video, uh, for creating a chart, you know that you need a, a data set, right? You need a data for that. And for the time periods, we generally prefer to create a line chart instead of some other kind of chart. So what I will do is I will select this array, which can consist of the dates, actual and budget amounts. And I will go to the insert tab and I will click on the line chart. Right now, what our purpose is that we want to uh, make this chart as a dynamic chart. And uh, remember that these kind of techniques you can use in your dashboard reports or a kind of a report where you need to create a dynamic ranges and you need to make a change on the ad hoc basis. So, so you can apply this technique in your dashboards or any other kind of a visualization reports, right? So our purpose is basically that if, if I select any kind of a month from, for example, I, I want to see the actual and budget from February till May only. So this chart should start from February and end till May instead of Jan to June, right? So 
at this point at this moment our chart is basically starting and it shows all the months whereas we need to make sure that this chart should be controlled as a dynamic name range on this particular two cells now for integrating this technique we need to use the index and match but before that what the concept behind this logic is let me explain you for example if i have few numbers and i want to make a sum of these three numbers i am using the sum function and you can uh, as, as an excel user as an as a basic excel user you know that what particular this expression means so this means that the range is starting from d10 this colon sign represent as a between between uh, symbol and the d12 so this particular expression means that the range is starting from d10 and ending till d12 so this means that d11 also included in this range so this is a kind of a between range and from this kind of a concept we need to create a, a, a logic which is which will be based on the index and match function so we will be creating that start from from a particular month and end from a end to a particular month uh, so that will be a kind of a dynamic range of a between okay the starting point and the ending point so let me show you uh, uh, the uh, actual side actual technique of applying that so and and at the end we will be wrapping up all these uh, functions which will be creating in, in the excel cell as a name range and those name ranges will be applied on this particular chart okay so now for example for the actual amounts we will be using the index and match function so what we need to define in the array which is the first function argument of the index function we need uh, these numbers from uh, b7 to g7 in my case i will make it as an absolute now in in the uh, function argument of raw number i will not uh, use this i will skip this uh, because the reason which i gave you in, in the starting of this video is that uh, each of the month is basically in a separate column not in the raw so we will be applying the match function in the column function argument of index function okay so i will tell this match function that start looking at the b3 cell which contains a from date or, or particular month as you can say and uh, the lookup array will be the range from b6 to g6 which represent from jan till june array and i will make it absolute by pressing f4 and the selection type um, the match type will be the uh, exact match and then i will close the brackets now this particular uh, formula you can say is is uh, will be dynamic and it just define the uh, starting point now i will add the colon sign here and i will again start writing the index now i need the actual numbers which are from again b7 to g7 i will skip the raw number and in the column number uh, function argument i will use the match and i will locate now this two uh, cell which is the b4 which particularly defines the end point of, of a particular month which is b4 i will make this cell absolute and, and i will select the again the same array which is in the raw number six from jan to june again this will be absolute and the zero for the exact match so now uh, basically this is working as as a uh, as you can say the array uh, array and it gives me an output as an array but doesn't matter uh, if you are using uh, the other version of the excel if it gives you an error if it gives you a, a particular one number so don't be confused you just need to pick the logic which is being defined here uh, you are not concerned with the output at this particular time because this specific function will be wrap up in the name range and that name range will be defined in the chart so we have no concerns uh, what the what the output is actually coming up it's depend on the different kind of an excel version so we have defined the dynamic range of from and to for the actual numbers column wise now this same kind of logic we will be applying for the budget numbers and i will just copy this and i will paste this in the next row to make the dynamic range for the budget numbers and i will just change the uh, particular actual arrays into the budget arrays by dragging that particular uh, array okay and all things are absolutely fine so I, I can get the budgeted numbers in my case all right so that's fine 
now for for uh, for the uh, and we will be putting these two concepts in the uh, wrapping up in the name ranges but now the last but not the least is we also need to create a name range for the dynamic dates as well and that will be controlled as the horizontal axis on our line chart as well okay so for doing that what i will do is again i will be copying and pasting and i and i hope that those of you who are watching this video have the clear concept of the index and match uh, so that you should not be confused right so what i will do is i will just copy these three formulas uh, uh, wrapping up into a name range okay so first i will just go edit go by pressing f2 i can go into the editing mode i will just select this entire formula Control c for the copy i will go to the formulas tab click on name manager and i will click on new and i will define the first range for the actuals so i am giving a name which is called the uh, chart underscore underscore actual and I will just paste whatever I have been just copied from for the actual concept. So for my first uh, name range has been defined. Now I will again go to for the budget logic. I will select this entire formula, copy, and I will go to name manager again, clicking on new chart underscore budget, and I will just copy and paste that formula. So our two name ranges have been ready. Now the, for the third dynamic dates ranges, I will just select this entire uh, formula, copy, and then I will go to name manager, click on new, and I will give a name that is chart underscore dates. You can give any kind of a name which you want, neat and clean. So I've defined three name ranges, actual budget and dates, and three name ranges will be now applied on this particular Excel chart to make the selection dynamic and that index and match will be do uh, will be doing for us so now uh, the last step would be now we don't have any work on this uh, specific formula which we defined for the actual budget and dates we will delete this uh, because we have stored in uh, as a name manager in, in the three different kind of a name ranges now we will be applying and now this is the last step we need to make our chart dynamic so that after the selection of from and to our uh, the horizontal axis and the actual and budget numbers will be uh, selected from these particular uh, from from the logic of these particular cells okay now for th for the last part of this video we'll be covering up that how we applied the name ranges and make it a dynamic so i'm just i just click on the chart and uh, I, I just right click uh, in this contextual menu you can see here there's an option called select data and uh, we will be applying uh, those three name ranges uh, on these particular areas so first we will click on actual and i will press the edit button and in the series values what you need to do is uh, if you can see the absolute name range which is from b7 to g7 i will just select this specific name range uh, a specific range basically not the name range i will just select this absolute range and i will just uh, remove it and i have defined a name range which is called chart underscore actual so i i just type that name and i will press ok now for the budgets, uh, again, I will go to edit and in the series values, again, I will remove this absolute range and I have defined a name range, which is called chart underscore budget, which contains the index and match functions, remember, and which is the dynamic. So I have just created uh, and applied that. Now for, the, for making the time period as a dynamic, what I can do is I will just click on added button on the horizontal category access labels and here i will just again select the specific part of the absolute range and removing that and i will apply that name range which is called chart underscore dates which stores the index and match functions dynamic so now you can see that my chart is showing uh, data from february till may of actual and budget amounts and when i go to my this data validation option and i select the starting point which is the january and i stop till march so you can see that my uh, the, the concept of the dynamic ranges in, in applying the charts, we have used the index and match uh, concept on the back end and we wrap up in the name range. So now you can see that my this particular chart showing me the, uh, the time period selection of these two cells, okay, and uh, which is starting from Jan till March. And later on, if I again change the range from, let's say I want to see my chart from March till uh, June. So you can see that my horizontal axis and the numbers representing the time period which i have selected from these data validation cells 
and it's showing me March till June data. So this is uh, how you can create the dynamic name ranges and uh, apply in the, in, in the charts with the help of a technique of index and match function and the name ranges. And I hope you like this particular technique. Do share this video with your colleagues. And uh, if you have any comments, do post it. I hope uh, you learn this technique. And uh, in, the, in the upcoming videos, I will tell you more uh, these kind of techniques which you can apply in your dashboards. Thank you.